Welcome to the Test Monitor 7.3 update video. We are thrilled to share some new updates and enhancements with you. In version 7.3, we have streamlined test run management for increased flexibility. Let's dive right in. Previously, users were required to specify both start and end dates for test runs. In 7.3, we've made both fields optional. Users can now define only a start or expiration date or skip defining a date period entirely. Test runs without a date period can be run immediately, providing greater flexibility in scheduling and planning. By making test run dates optional, we were able to add more precision for those who need it. Test run start and end times are no longer limited to just the dates. With the ability to specify exact times, you can now precisely coordinate your test runs. Planning a multitude of test runs can take a lot of fine tuning. In these situations, it's sometimes better to avoid triggering any notifications and prevent testers from starting the run too early. Therefore, we're introducing a new test run option called Draft Mode. This feature empowers you to plan and prepare thoroughly before going live. When you're ready, activate all draft test runs by switching them to the open state, notifying testers to commence testing immediately. This new feature can significantly improve your test planning and execution process. When test results are coming in, you'll end up with multiple test runs marked as completed. As your project progresses, these test runs become less relevant. Newer test runs supersede the old ones, which will eventually clutter your test run overview. After the test runs are completed, you now have the option to transition them to a closed state. This action effectively concludes the test run, preventing further testing and providing a clear overview of your current and upcoming testing activities. With the introduction of draft and close options, we now have multiple states for test runs. We've added vibrant new colored icons to represent the status of each test run. These icons make it easy to identify draft, upcoming, in progress, completed and closed test runs. With the new test run state filter, you can easily organize test runs by state. You can filter out test runs that are open, in progress, or completed. By excluding closed test runs, you can keep an uncluttered view of your test runs and stay focused on the tasks at hand. These are just a couple of the new features we've released in 7.3. If you would like to explore all the features in detail, please click on the top right corner to access our blog article on version 7.3. If you found this video valuable, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications so you don't miss another video. Thanks for watching and happy testing.